Well, just uh, it's been a good sp uh, summer so far. Uh, we just everybody's working hard. Uh, uh, it's uh, still an ongoing battle at quarterback. I think that's always a major question asked every day. But I think our guys are working hard. So uh, seeing a lot of good things out of our young guys. It's just a continuing journey, and I think we're we're probably pretty close to where we want to be right now. I thought we tackled well. That I thought we, uh, I thought uh, we. I really thought it was a physical, pretty good fundamental scrimmage. Um, you know, it was kind of a tale of two halves almost. I thought in the open field, our defense played really well. I thought in the in the red zone and in the two minute drill, I think our offense played really well. So, uh, you know, we just got to continue to uh, uh, just work on the little things. You know, hold on to the ball. Uh, certain things like that. I think that's always a critical point. Uh, but uh, I was pretty pleased. You know, today, you know, as a head coach, you kind of like the offense doing good on some things and the defense doing good. It kind of makes you feel good. You never really want it lopsided one way or the other. You, I leave. That's when the, usually if it's good defensively, the defensive coordinator feels good and the offense bad. Or otherwise, we're scoring every play. The offense is happy and the defense is bad. I, I kind of like it in between. So I thought we, we had that today. And, and uh, so just, you just got to keep getting better. I think so. I think so. I think it's, uh, it's um, you know, it's been a back and forth battle. It has, uh, you know, it's, you know, it might be I just sit in the night, I just flip a coin, Patrick, at 10 o'clock on Friday and just and pick one, you know, but uh, I think they've, uh, they've competed hard. Uh, I think both of them are pushing each other and that's a good thing. They're pushing hard. Marcelo's come in and done some good things. You can see him starting to mature too. So, uh, but I think they both have been uh, have played well. We just got to continue playing well. That's a good question, Tim. I don't know. I mean, I, you know, you always like to, you know, you hope. You know, one guy is so gangbusters, the other guy, you know, he just separates. But, you know, if if you get, if they both are playing well and deserve to play, I think it's always good to have two guys. You know, I'm, I am, I'm not that guy that, oh, you got to have one guy. If we have two quarterbacks that deserve to play, we need to play them. Um, you know, it's certainly one thing it does give you a little bit if, if one guy's hot, he can keep playing. You know, if all of a sudden he's not hot, you can bring a guy in off the sideline and uh, see if he can spark, spark the team. So, it, it, you know, it's competition. And I'll, you know, in most positions you like competition. Quarterbacks that one, you know, but I think, it, I think it'll help them both. I really do. Have you been recruiting this case for a while? I'll tell you one thing. It's, it's uh, you know, uh, I knew T-Rob was fast, Patrick, but then he broke loose and Curtis got him. You know, I was like, good gosh. I was like, because I thought T-Rob, he broke loose. I said, bye. I said, he's gone. That's a touchdown because both of them are – Probably maybe sub four three, but both of them at least four three five guys. But when T Rod broke loose, I knew that was a touchdown. And there's probably only one guy on the football team that could have caught him, and that was Curtis, and he he got him. So there's a lot of speed in Bassfield. It's amazing, amazing. Those guys can run. Marcelo's pretty quick too. He almost got down. Yeah, yeah, he did. But uh, yeah, it's, and Kevin's not as fast as T Rod, but Kevin's a good player. Yeah, Kevin's had a great summer. He really has. Kevin Kevin is a uh, Kevin's had a really strong, strong summer, so uh just he needs to keep it going. He was one of a number of guys that made interceptions today. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's something we've emphasized. I think, you know, but it, we're emphasizing it daily. You know, each year's a different year. You know, hopefully um we have a lot. Like I said, hopefully the, the Las Vegas odds will even out in our favor, you know, that uh with the turnover ratio, but uh, it's, you know, I think uh, our, our defense did a good job today of creating some. Also the big plays. I mean, people mm. don't think realize how we're mm. statistically finished mm. nationally. Right. But yeah. Big well, it's, it's one of those deals. You, defensively, you never want to give up big plays. I mean, like I said, 15th in the nation, it's probably been a long time since, you know, statistically we've been that, that good. And we probably could have been number one or two, but, the reality is that's something that we've stressed and that's something I thought we did a pretty good job with the ones today on, on, on 
do we did a good job on deep balls. We did a good job on preventing it with the ones. I, I think the twos we gave up a few right there, but uh, that's something that that's football. You you gotta you know I think today's football with the spread offense is all about explosive plays. You ask any offensive coordinator in spread football today, what do they want to create? All explosive plays. Mm -hmm. You ask any defensive coordinator, what's he want to do? You know, eliminate it. But today's football is a little bit more wide open game than it was 25 years ago. That's just the reality of the game we play now. But uh, you know, I think our guys, like I said, I think out wide at corner with Curtis and Cornell, I think we've got two excellent speed corners out there. You know, Tavares is a guy. You know, we're getting him healthy. You know, he's been a little bit banged up, but he's another guy that's got a lot, of, a lot of speed. So in the back end, we do have a lot of speed. So that you, that helps. You know, when something busts somebody to go get it down, you know, so we definitely picked up our speed. And I think we talked about with Quiz, did y'all see Quiz or David Quiz can, you know, with Quiz, you got some guys out there that can run and Jalen and, and Jordan Mitchell's had a good summer. You know, I know I'm missing some guys, but you kind of put all those guys in with Alan Zay and Corey. And I do think we've created, and I've talked about this for some more speed offensively and defensively. So that that's always a plus. I don't know. Um, uh, you know, it, it's a. Uh, I've been coaching 26 years. You know, there's not anything I do any different. Uh, I really don't. I'm the same coach when it's bad, and I'm the same coach when it's good. I really don't change my patterns. You know, I am who I am. Uh, you know, I, and I. I think the guys. Uh, I think they know me pretty well. Uh, they know who I am, what I kind of stand for, and and I'm just gonna be myself. I can't be anybody else, and that's kind of who I am. And. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're blessed with the ball bouncing your way, and sometimes you want to jump off a cliff, you know, that's coaching, you know. But at the end of the day, I, I tell you, we do have a great bunch of kids, and they're fun to coach. And uh, so I'm blessed. You know, I don't know. I, I thought we I thought we bonded pretty quick, you know. I, I, think they, I think they know their head coach loves Southern Miss, and I, I think everybody here chose Southern Miss. At the end of the day, and I think the players all love Southern Miss. I think we all love Southern Miss. We all wear the black and gold, and we all love the tradition of Southern Miss. We just know, hey, um, it's our turn to carry out that tradition. You know, that's that's just what it is. But uh, like I said, we got outstanding kids, and they're working hard. So I couldn't be more blessed to coach the young men that I have here at Southern Miss. I tell you, they really, they uh, they teach me a lot every day. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but do you see eight or nine guys that can contribute some of the freshmen? I tell you, we're going to have to play some, Patrick. We've got to play some freshmen, I think, this year, just because that's where we are. You know, we've got we've got our one deep. But if you look at our twos, a lot of time, a lot of our twos are freshmen. You know, but I think those guys have to mature this year. I think uh, that's just a reality. So he'll – Eric will mix it around where he can mix and match, you know, guys that – might play center, can also play guard, or we might have to kick a guard out to tackle. I think we'll have that flexibility. I think that's something that we have to do in the defensive backfield and the offensive line, you know, that we have to mix match some. You know, you have to be able to play nickel and safety. Because if you do get in that situation where you lose a guy or two, you want to be able to, if that neck, that second nickel or that, that is your best, next best safety, well, let's put him in the game at safety if we lose a safety. Kind of that way if we lose a guard and our next best one is our tackle, move him down and move the next tackle up or vice versa. And I think that's something Eric has been working with him on. And he'll he'll mix it around where he'll probably figure out his top eight, top seven to eight, and he'll try to do his best to keep them in the game. He's back. He missed he missed like two weeks. You know, he had – He's got kind of the same thing I get a little bit with, uh, you know, sometimes stuff gets stuck down in the esophagus, and I get the same thing. Uh, it's a miserable feeling when it gets down there, but he's he's actually lost a little weight, but he's gaining it back and practicing hard. Right now, Dev, Devin's done a good job there right now. So, uh, you know, it's uh, – but, but I consider uh, – uh, Tyler, a starter, too. I just feel like it's one of those guys we could ro rotate around because, you know, like I know with the offensive line, there's, you're going to have to play eight or nine of those guys. You're not just going to play five. How do you think we'll balance our sideline defensive line? You're bigger. Of course, you have some Christian speed, but you've got to have a great for those guys doing in the middle. 
Yeah, Draper. When you talk about Draper and Delmond, you know, th those are two big guys. And Ladarius is a guy that can swing inside and outside. You also have, you know, some young guys like Andrew Cole. Um, you know, of course, don't let me forget Rod Creighton. You know, Rod's inside too. Rod's had a heck of a summer and spring, and he's really, really done a lot of great things. But uh, of course, uh, Derek Dixon. You know, Derek is a guy that, you know. He's out there. He's about 285 now. So when you look at Derek, Draper, Delmon, Rod, Andrew, Taj, I just named six guys that are probably over now that 280, 85. And you know, and I thought last year at times, just being honest, you know, at times we were, you know, almost if you put our average. You know, we had a few injuries inside. We were sometimes we weighed about 237 to 240 across the front, you know. And I think just Mother Nature tells you a little bit more size in there, especially inside, uh, gives you a pretty good base, you know. So I, I was – I'm pleased with the way those guys are coming. And I think the defensive line is a position where we have good depth. You know, we've got some older guys and we have some younger guys, you know. So it's kind of a – that that's a position that seems to be pretty healthy right now as far as the way our classes are split up and uh, I've been pleased with those guys so far they're working hard a lot of gray hair right here right here <laughs> I didn't say I was a smart man right there you know Edo I mean all you do is just come out and watch him every Saturday you know, he's a guy that creates stuff when there is nothing there. And he's a, he's a hard worker. Um, he's a guy that, you know, sometimes he's magical with the ball in his hands. He really is. You know, you, you say, oh, he's tackling, and then he pops out, and he's – there he goes. Uh, he's a he's a, a dynamic player that you're ever going to watch on Saturday night. You know, he kind of – if you remember Damian Fletcher years back, he Damian kind of reminded me a little bit of the same. Sometimes they'd all get, you'd say they're stopped, and then they'd pop out, and there they go, touchdown. You know, it, it's a, Edo's got that same special thing. You know, he, he can make something out of nothing, and uh, I just think he's a tremendous, tremendous football player. Um, you know, I mean, we could sit here for five hours. I talk about all the good things about Edo Smith. I mean, but he's, he's definitely a guy that was our most valuable player last year, and was a guy that uh, you know we count on to make plays for us, and uh, he's been a huge playmaker here at Southern Miss. You know, I think we have experience back at running back and receiver. That that would be where I would say we're we're pretty. That's where I think we have a a lot of strength. I think uh, I think outside at corner. I think uh, you know we have some age and and uh, experience out at corner too. But if I said, if you asked me for those would be the areas, I'd say we're pretty good age wise and experience wise and talent wise. Coach, um, do you think Edo gives them pressure this season and their expectations? You know, I think Edo's, I really believe he, Edo is, if you know Edo, he's a humble guy. I think he knows he's got to work for everything. I don't think Edo's one of those, Edo's not one of those guys that's going to, uh, Relish in any type of personal stuff. He he he's a guy that's always thinking his offensive line. He's a guy that always understands there's ten other guys there working for him, and he's he's that personality. He he he's a he's a humble guy. He's a, he's a hard worker. You don't ever have to worry about Edo missing anything, weight room meetings. But he's gonna be where he's supposed to be, do what he's supposed to do. I think he uh, he takes a lot of. You know, he takes a lot of pride in doing things right. So, uh, you know, I, I think he – I don't think he's one of those guys that likes the flash and glam of everything. I think he knows he's got to put his head down and go to work. you got a couple of weeks before Kentucky comes here. What are just some of the other areas you want to improve on? Well, for everything, building depth, I think, or something, Chris, that we need to – we need to, you know, just constantly do. Like I said, I think there's some areas we've got some decent depth on the team, and there's some areas we, we – we're thin and we don't need injuries, you know. So I think can continue developing younger guys and it's coach talk, but it's real talk. Uh, we got to we got to develop some guys, you know, and so uh, that's the reality of it, you know, and, and uh, but I've been pretty pleased with some of the young guys. We'll have quite a few guys playing this year that didn't play last year. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's going to be fun to watch those guys get out there and compete the first game against Kentucky. 
Yeah, Briggs had some good ones. Yeah, Jason. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we missed it last year. You watched that for three or four weeks. At the end of the season, good gosh, you know, we were kicking the ball to the 40-yard line in our last three weeks of the season, man. But, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's just great to watch them. You see them sailing. Briggs hit one the other day like eight or nine deep in the end zone. That's like, that was just wonderful to see because we were trying to pooch it on the 35 every time last year, the last four weeks of the season, just to, you know, and you don't, you really don't understand how much, you know, because we lost – uh, broccoli first game of the year against Kentucky with high ankle sprain and as a kicker when you got a high ankle sprain you never could come back and kick and then uh, Parker goes out what week seven or something or like that yeah he goes out week seven so now you lost broccoli and Parker and then we had Tyler who was our punter and we said come over here to kick some then Tyler's like coach it's it's messing up my punting right now because I'm kicking off and he you know he, he, so we, we were really struggling and then I think we finally got uh, Brock back to Pooch some 20 yarders out there, 30 yarders, and let them let them hopefully fair catch it. But uh, it's been a it's been a big help. Briggs has got a strong leg. Uh, Parker's healthy right now, so that that's good. Um, but uh, Briggs is really looking good on kickoff. It's a battle between Zach and Briggs right now, I believe. And then Tyler Flatoes had some uh, good kicks too. Uh, but those those three are battling. Um, I think uh, right now it's probably probably what I just said. You know, Zach and Briggs are probably battling, but Tyler still got a shot. They're still they're still battling it out. Jeremy's a smart football player. Jeremy's a uh, Jeremy uh, is a, has a true Mike linebacker's brain. You know, he he studies football, digests football really well. And uh, that's what impresses me about Jeremy. You know, you know, you're getting a guy that's calculating football all the time. So uh, you know, he, he's a really handy player. I think we got depth, but we're young there. You know, I think we got good depth there. I think, uh, uh, you know, we've had a few little bang ups, but um, you know, it'd be good to get Walden back Monday. Uh, we got we got a little work out of Rakeem today. Uh, Young guys like uh, Santrell and T.J. McGinnis are we're getting them a lot of reps. They got a lot of play today. Um, you know, and then get rough back. We held rough today also. So, uh, but they're all they should all be ready for game one. But uh, just to get some of those guys back ready uh, gives us. You know, we've got really good football players at that position. We just I said we got some. You know, last year we started C.J. and Elijah. So we have two new guys out there. So, uh, but they playing playing well. See, that's a good question because we're battling right now. You got Rakeem, you got Jeremy, and you got uh, Ruff. Uh, those three kind of battling for. Excuse me, Walton. My bad. Those four are battling for the two. So the, those are kind of the four. And then our young guys are Santrell and TJ. You know, are, are in there. So uh, it's a. Uh, it's a competition. It's kind of like quarterback. It's a competition. We'll see who who steps up. What's that? Not a bad problem. Not a bad problem. We've got a lot of good young players there, and they're, they're all competing hard. You know, Ruff is the one that's the older one of the bunch. But Ruff, you know, again, he, CJ and Elijah started last year, and Ruff kind of banged up. But I think Ruff could have a really big senior year if he stays healthy. You're talking about him. TJ, I think, is going to be a really good football player. I really do. TJ, TJ is uh, just – he's fast. And uh, it might be something in Pisgah. You know, we got Tory Bowie winning world championships out there. TJ's pretty fast linebacker too. But uh, he's uh, he's a guy that we – when we signed him, we didn't know where home was going to be for him. We tried him at receiver, and then we moved him to safety, and then we moved him to linebacker. And then it's like you could just see it. He's home. You know, he, just the way he, you know, y'all, uh, Patrick and Tim and Jason remember this, but it's kind of like, remember like with Bowley years ago, he was a wide receiver, and he finally moved into outside linebacker, and you're like, da-da, you know, there he goes, you know, just taking off, sacking the quarterback, dropping in space, great. I think we're seeing that in TJ. Receiver wasn't really home, 
we got him to linebacker, and now you're seeing a guy that's really playing fast. He's still learning some things, but you're seeing a guy that's playing fast, and he can close space quick. So uh, I think it's going to be a great place for him. I really do. You know what? I, he's. He, you know, Roy was probably more of an inside guy than Michael, but but yes, kind of in between. I'd, I'd almost put him in between both of those, kind of. He probably plays more in that 30 position like Roy, but, but you know, he's got a lot of speed too because Michael could really run, you know, and he was – and so it's a – TJ is – does have a lot, of, a lot of athleticism, a lot of talent. He's fast. A couple more. Right, yeah. That's right. That's right. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks.